Welcome. What's up, everybody? It's Ariel the Artsy Intuitive, and I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do some type of reading. Uh, I was thinking of doing a twin flame reading check in. Actually, let's just tune in right now and just invite everything that any stress or worries just to drain it all through. Send it to the earth, send it to Gaia where she will transmit the energy. <sighs> All right. All right. I'm going to use these. We got to use Beyond Lemuria, the Eucharist favorite deck. Okay, let's tune into Divine Masculine Energy. And this may or may not resonate, but okay, so take it. For, just listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition if it feels right for you. Let's get a guidance message for the masculines. Divine masculine from the Lemuria. Very, very new still. Divine masculine. Transformation. Perfect. Beautiful transformations, the divine masculine transformation. Oh, well, we can't see it anyways. Okay, so let's get one for divine feminine. Yeah, I feel like I feel like divine masculines are experiencing the synchronicities on a whole nother level and signs and listening to spirit listening to their intuition more which is good divine feminine alignment you're aligning divine feminine Ooh, the two dolphins right here divine feminine alignment aligning to her truth okay so transformation 53 which breaks down to an eight infinity the infinite So transformation, self-nurturing, going, so this is for masculines, self-nurturing, nurturing oneself, going within, time alone, being present with your feelings, cocooning before the butterfly, being gentle on yourself, angelic embrace. Feel whatever you need to feel. It may be hard to be present with some parts of yourself. Bring them into a cocoon of gentle self-love and reflection. An insight will come. The, the shadows can be released and your heart space will soften. Cry or be angry if this is what you are holding on to. And laugh at the hilarious, ironic, divine perfection of it all. This card beckons you beyond your constructed outer self where you can delve into the beautiful abyss of your being, your true self. Okay, reveal in the twilight, revel in the twilight before the dawn and let your wings unfurl. So Divine Masculine is asking you to, to really, you know, feel what you need to feel. Take care of oneself as you're, you are transforming. Okay. Let's read the feminines, which is alignment. Alignment. And this is a seed card. Inner integrity. Being a vibrational match for what you want to bring into your life. Manifesting from a place of love over fear. Energy flows where attention goes. Subconscious sabotage. Seamlessly actualizing our dreams. Look at where your desires and manifestations are being seeded. If your plans or dreams aren't unfolding as you would like them to, it's time to take a deeper look at other areas areas of your life. It's something it's is something out of step with integrity. Are you making decisions through fear or love? If it is through fear or avoidance, your manifestations may seemingly backfire to encourage experiences that will bring you back into balance. 
It's, it is time to become a vibrational match for what you are seeking. Instead of striving harder for something, cultivate the feeling. Yes, I've been doing this. Cultivate the feeling of already having all you seek. You'll be surprised at what this shift in perspective creates. It's a whole new shift in perspective. Um, being in that energy of what you want to create. Being grateful. Thank you, God, for this this wonderful life that I'm living. Thank you, God, for the wonderful people. Thank you, God, for this wonderful high vibrational relationship that I'm in. Those are just some examples. So as divine masculine is transforming, the divine feminine is also aligning to her truth. And let's get one of these. Let's see what direction, compass. I just call it the compass deck. I don't know all the names. Okay. Let's get one for Divine Mass. Healing for transformation, direction. Yes, gentle gardener. Gentle gardener. This card is about, it's like the seeds that you have planted. And see, they're resting on these eggs. They're it's nurturing which is this card of transformation for divine masculine talked about nurturing yourself so nurturing these seeds for them to blossom the gentle gardener and also the the way what i feel from this card too is that you have lots of ancestors lots of spiritual guidance working on behalf okay feminines into the unknown into the Oh, God, I almost started singing the song. Okay. Into the unknown. So divine feminines. I can relate. It's like, you know, that this like, you're listening. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, both have listening, starting to listen and see the, the, the musical notes also repre representing not, oh, not only tones and high vibrational tones, music, signs listening to with, within uh divine feminine going into the unknown okay so it's like not sure what's coming but she's listening there's a bird right here it's almost like go ahead you're 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 going trusting she's holding a key in her hand she knows she has everything like the keys She holds the keys. She holds the keys. So, okay. So that's direction. Okay. Gentle garden. Garden. Gently nourish yourself as you're going to this transformation. Masculines, divine feminines. Yes, you are going into the unknown. Okay. It's like when you trust. Trust and have faith. Okay. So what's the next spirit? What other cards do you want me to get? I'm just winging this thing. What else? Yes, okay. Patience. Is that to be patient? <laughs> All right, let's get one for Divine Masculine. That one. Living light energy. See the beauty in life. Wow. Divine masculine, see, wow, it's like epiphany coming through, transformation, uh, the living network of all things, seeing things from a 5D perspective, wow. And see the twinkling lights for divine masculine. There's all these twinkling lights surrounding you, like magic. You're surrounded by just beautiful magic in the air, okay? Divine Feminine, what's you have? Wow, Divine Feminine's got a line twice. Align your universe, navigate distractions. This is really cool. So everything that is going on externally, internally, is navigating through all these distractions, coming back to zero point, neutralizing, aligning. Okay, where? what am I focusing on right now? Am I going into fear? Am I going too far in the future? Um, 
Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. Feminine's got alignment twice. So, wow. Really aligning to. Okay, this one wants to come out. Wow, this is because it's all about choice. Oh, look, at it matches my painting at the back. So, it all starts with that choice point, you know, choice, which direction to go. And if it's like you both have already picked your path, like both know um, this choice of eight, of infinity, it's higher calling. It's your destiny. Let's get two more. Cosmic ancestors and celestial gatekeepers, which... This would be a 17 if we added them together. Timing is critical. So there is a critical choice point, definitely, with the awakening and ascension of what path you want to go down. Not down, let's say ascend. Ascend. And timing is critical. So voice your concerns. Both are looking. Masculines getting more spiritual energies and Amy Satori she's awesome check out her channel she picked this up with the Divine Masculines this week amazing energies for them so it is about you know voicing your concerns and communicating this key as well Twin Flames communicating whether that's however it is could be many forms of communication sign synchronicities uh also it could be actual like 3d communication whatever is in alignment whatever is coming into alignment for your journey so let's get a mermaid oracle for divine masculine so i really love this gentle gardener for masculines because it's like They're nurturing themselves. Like the feminine quality that they see in the feminine, they're balancing that as well in their, in their life. So, okay. I could put it back. I didn't feel like that was the right one. Let's get clear. Divine masculine. Let's for divine masculine. Mermaids. Freedom, that's right. Independent self-determination. I don't know what else to say, but yes, this transformation, freedom is very really important. Your self-autonomy, independence, taking um, back control of your life. But not only that, it's recognizing that you had power the whole time like you have everything that you need within you so freedom for masculines in their transformation let's get one for feminines sacrifice there are those worth making there are those that will destroy you wow 11 so that's where i feel like the align your aligning alignment alignment i've been feeling that in my own energy as a divine feminine refocus refocus what are we aligning to you know navigate whatever distractions are going on okay those are those worth you know it's like making that sacrifice for something but you know is it going to help you or take you down destroy you right so that's why alignment is key Okay. And also, this is another message to appreciate the present moment. Because we have the present here. Gift, treasure, rev revelation of own value, nowness. Just enjoying the present moment of what is and what is now. And that everything is as it, as it should right now. And there's a lot of power in that. So that's really beautiful. Okay, let's get... Actually, I, wanna, I love the imagery. I'm not familiar at, at all of this whole deck yet because I have to study each card and read and stuff, but I love the imagery that, okay. So the hero, 
Ooh, I like this. Yes, I love this energy and integrity. Wow. Let's see, four of swords. Well, I love this. This is very balanced energy. I feel like the masculines are resting in their nowness. There's a time right here. There's all these things connecting and surrounding them. They're seeing things from a new perspective. We have the hero and we have integrity. Oh my gosh, I love this. Wow. There's nudity on here, so just saying. Beautiful. And I've been, uh, you know, because of the Lion's Gate, we were in the Lion's Gate like pre, we're just in the er energy already on 8-8. Eight, eight. And the I realized like I've been drawn to the big cat the Lyran energy. Uh, I just got a puzzle. I've been doing jigsaw puzzles and I got one. It's like a panther. It's really beautiful and it reminds me of this and tapping into the um, feline energy. Integrity. What is an integrity of your soul? Not just the self, but your, your actual, like your soul. And the hero. It's the hero's journey. It reminds me of the magician and the fool and taking a leap of faith, having all your tools. Okay. And then naturally the divine masculine wants to come in as, you know, the hero, save the day or do something powerful, a powerful shift. Okay. So Let's get some guidance from angels for the masculine. Speak your truth. Wow, yep. Freedom. It's like, you know what? Speaking your truth and s claiming what you want, claiming your sovereignty, um, that in itself gives you freedom. Freedom from the... Let's just say energetic vampires or darker energies surrounding you that are trying to hold you down because you are a divine being. You're divine masculine. You have this light. You've got this glow. Okay. So Archangel Gabriel, speak your truth. Thank you, Gabriel, for helping me speak with integrity. I can't make this up. Integrity. Speaking up with integrity. And see how she's got her hands on her hips like... Listen, you know, this is my truth, you know, and etc. etc. Wow, oh, and look at all that orange. There's some passion coming through on the divine masculine side as well. So, divine feminine guidance for divine feminine. I like this reading, I like all the readings. <laughs> Yes, I love this card. Trustworthy friends. It's, it's the twin flame right there. Her masculine and her. They're lifting each other up. And Divine Feminine, your masculine is lifting you up in the 5D. Okay, and is assisting you. Um, thank you, angels, for surrounding me with people I can trust and love. And also, um, for the feminines, you know, being grateful for your team, your soul tribe. And being interesting, interesting that you will be in alignment with these trustworthy, uh, not even trustworthy, just that they're aligned with your soul to help you on your mission. But I love this because to me, it looks like a twin flame, the duo, the, tw the team, the unit. I call it a unit. They're a unit. Forced to be reckoned with. And when twin flames come together, whew, that's what should, will shift the energies even more on this planet. That's what we're here for. So, look at that. And trust, look at the inner voice. Trusting your inner voice. And when I see this, I also get the, this is the twin flame telepathy card. And, uh, yeah, I've been getting lots of telepathy with mine. Trust your vibes. You know, trust your vibes, trust what you're getting. This is also like, 
I'm tuning in and tapping in. Okay, I'm sending them a message. I love that. All right, any more messages? I feel like it. I do. I feel like we, yeah. Yes, we do. These? These, okay. <laughs> we'll get this one. Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine. We got two Divine Feminine. Oh my gosh, that's like a stack. Hold on, Divine Feminine. Dharma unfolding for Divine Feminine, that's what I'm saying. Get another one. Okay. All right, Divine Masculine, what we got for you? Faith and Divine Healing. Ooh, you have faith in your Divine Healing, in your transformation. Humanity and benevolence with Divine Healing. Hilarion. Stay calm. Trust the good in yourself and others. See the light in the world. Which it is. You're... It's like, all of a sudden, it's like, if this hasn't happened yet, or this will happen, but it's like seeing the living light everywhere. Uh, this happened for me, I won't get into it, but as I started, my third eye started opening and being more, uh, the, clair the clairs start heightening, uh, you see energy and everything. You see the programming surrounding others. You... You, you realize that you're part of everything. And I feel like the Divine Masculine, they're starting to really, or will be starting to see this intricate connection of light and um, the grid, the light grid, the living light energy. See the beauty in life and how everything is connected. And so faith is asking you to trust and see the light in the world. Okay. And yourself see the light in yourself you have divine healing lots of healing around here healing codes green heart chakra softening heart opening i feel like more masculines their hearts are opening up not just twin flames generally masculine energy their heart is opening um they're getting more connected to the spiritual side of things and how it's connected um, this says, honor your sensitivity, retreat to recharge and heal. See? So, I think we got a retreat to recharge. This came out. What? what? You got another card. Okay. What did I say? Ancestors. You have ancestors looking over you. Ancestor spirit. Connect to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed. Now, that's another thing with karmic patterns, situations, relationships. Um, for the masculines, I know it's been like a heavy road and, and a lot of heaviness. And all, it all stems with self-love and, and um, worthiness, honestly. It boils down to that. And so they're really trying to assist you. It's like each feather to me represents um, a guide, an ancestor spirit, a grandmother. A, you know what I mean? that is here to, is helping you in your transformation right now your transformation to speak your truth in inte in integrity and like the gentle gardener you've been gently gardening these seeds these beautiful eggs of miracles like your ancestors <laughs> i love it i love when the cards just confirm themselves over and over and over again so your light can support others. Now, and that is part of the spiritual journey is though that your light supports others. But that's where speaking your truth and having boundaries comes in and being free because people will want to take that energy. Um, you know, this is not something that is new to us on this earth realm. We're aware of it as you awaken, you start to see the illusions and things just falling away that weren't true for you anymore. Your light can support others, but remember to recharge and heal yourself. That's important for you, okay? All right, Divine Feminines. I love it. 
Divine Feminines. You got De Joal Cool. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but Dharma unfolding. Remember that you are on a path. And it's a journey, right? It's a journey. So that's why it's important to stay in the now moment and appreciate what is here now for you. So many light coats coming in. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time towards happiness, towards your happiness. When I see this card, this is all about life purpose, your 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 dharma, so your your what you can give to the world. This is mine. I love doing readings. I love inspiring others. I love creating, painting, doing something that will inspire. So what is your dharma? It's unfolding, okay? So allow it to unfold. And because you have supreme protection, you have green Tara here. Lots of beautiful, beautiful flowers. So flowers, definitely. Go smell some flowers. Buy yourself some flowers. I know I love my garden. It still needs work because it's hot, but it's so beautiful being in nature. So it says you are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation. Trust. That's where this comes in for you. Okay. Trusting. You know what? Look at She has like similar kind of headdress on how it's like up here. Trust that you're, you're on path. You're on a line in alignment. Okay. I mean, I try to say that every day for myself is I ask my higher self and my team just guide me please let me know what I need to be you know just have those regular conversations with your higher self so you're supremely protected okay one more yeah I told you I love to pick cards. <laughs> Divine Feminine. I feel like this is for both, honestly. It popped, it flew over to Feminine, but I feel like this is for both. Masculine and Feminine. Hunter, track down your fears and desires. That pure intention of what do you want to create and hunting down those fears also yeah I don't know what else to say but <laughs> oh this came out too see your seeds grow cannot make this up oh my gosh got the rabbit so springtime also something really um, a big jump in spring I know that feels like far away from now but just put it out there uh, so yeah, that's super cool. See your seeds grow. Both of you are like, see it grow. I'm just talking about seeds, planting your seeds. We have the gentle gardener for the masculines. I fell on the floor. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll get it. The drum. Yes, dream and journey. And I've been doing that. I right, try to remember to do that. Going on a inner shamanic journey, just listening to drums, listening to meditation music, and go within and ask, asking your, you literally, it's not that hard, <laughs> you know, it doesn't, don't have any expectations though before you do any type of meditation visualization, just like let it go, trust, um, that's really cool because we got the ancestors coming out here helping us. We've got Dream and Journey with a drum, Hunter. Okay, what other messages before I go? Yeah, Father Sky and Spirit Fox. Your your talents are changing. Changing times. Your talents will shift. You'll get new talents. Uh, <clears throat> the Spirit Fox. Trust your talents in, in changing times. Okay, so both of you this fox energy okay he's happy just be happy do things that make you happy know that your talents they they will change you know they will you will get new skills will come in that you need 
Father Sky, trust in the unknown. The same card that Feminine's got for both, though. Trust in the unknown. Okay. And bottom of the deck, drop your shield. And I feel like this is towards each other. Dropping your shields, dropping, let it go. Come from a place of love, from the heart. <clears throat> it's like I come in peace, okay? <laughs> Drop your shield. You already, it's like you are protected. You are protected, both of you. Because we know, okay, we know Twin Flames, they've been trying to, like, they don't want Twin Flames to get together. Who they, whatever. We don't get into that. But it doesn't matter because we are. It doesn't matter because it's happening. It's part of the, the, the greater plan, the divine plan. Uh, that's why we have to trust and have faith in this unknown. Man, I like it. I like it. Okay, I think that's it. No, Spirit wants me to do this one. One of the love cards. For the twins, what do you want us to know? Okay, let's do some. Do something for someone. Be willing to express love. Oh my goodness. Connecting to the, also connecting to your own inner child. Okay, connecting to your own that presence, that inner child within you that wants this be that nurturing parent to that child within yourself. Okay, because that's what I see when I, she's looking into the shell and there's like a little... Be willing. Be willing to express love. Express love to receive love. It's the, res it's the balance of the universe. Giving, receiving. You want to receive love? Give some love. It's as simple as a smile. It's as simple as a gesture of like, can I get that for you? Or, you know, be willing to express your love to the people that you love, okay? Um, this is that time right now. I feel like it just is, okay? Do something for someone. That's something for someone. It's just like the mask. Well, listen, last night it was like, or the last couple of readings, it was totally, it was like, do something for someone. Show, show your, your love. Touch, reach out and touch someone. Like, it was very just straightforward and like, to the point. I love it. I love when it's so just, like, I don't even have to talk. I can just show the, the cards and you guys can interpret yourself. So, do something for someone. Give your attention to another. Express love to receive love. Okay. That's it. I think my recording is done. Alright, bye.